when former Naperville Central baseball star Nicky Lopez was traded by the Atlanta Braves to his hometown Chicago White Sox this offseason, the Sox not only received a versatile infielder, but a local standout eager to give back to the community. Lopez hosted his first 16-inch charity softball tournament, featuring 16 teams at Mount Greenwood Park in Chicago. Me and my wife always were just talking about what if we did like a charity softball event in the off season of, of one of the years that um, we came back home and you know we, we always talked about it, talked about it for like maybe two years and then full circle we get traded to the White Sox and we're like hey what better time to do it than in Chicago on one of the off days and, and it's, it's finally here so it's, it's, it's special. A 16-inch softball tournament is the perfect charity vehicle for the Lopez family as Nikki's father Bob was a legendary 16-inch softball player with Nikki and his brothers Bobby and Anthony growing up around the game at an early age. It means a lot to Nikki to continue the legacy that I created with 16-inch softball. I mean, I'm in the Hall of Fame in 2010. So for him to do this, it, it's, it, it makes me so happy because I'm glad he's doing something to kind of make me feel better about the game. I remember just holding his bat that was taller than me at that point. I was out there shagging probably too early. I was too young, probably shagging uh, some of the balls that were hit at me. And um, But I was I was there every step of the way. And um, so it, it's kind of, it was a no-brainer to do a charity softball event because it's so near and dear to our heart. The winning team was awarded with the trophy and batting practice at Guaranteed Rate Field, as well as a chance to enjoy a complimentary suite outing. The runner-up took home patio party passes and gold box tickets for any White Sox home game this season. However, this tournament was about more than just winning prizes. It's for charity. I wanted everyone to come out, um, do something a little bit you know, above and beyond, um, give back to the community, um, and just have fun with it. But then as, as time went on and as, as teams started filing in, it started to become you know, competitive. And like you said, people are starting to bring ringers in. And, um, and now it, it seems like it's actually going to be a competitive tournament, which is, which is fun. Money raised goes to great causes with close connections to the Lopez family. All proceeds go to the Andrew Wisher and Justin Wegner Foundations. Justin, a 2015 graduate from Naperville Central who played football and baseball for the Red Hawks, passed away in 2019 following a three-year battle with cancer. Wisher was a former classmate of Nikki's brother Anthony at Illinois Wesleyan, who also passed away from cancer in 2012. They were good friends throughout the, the high school career, um, and Nikki just, big heart he is, he, he knew he wanted to help and he came back to the White Sox and it was just a perfect opportunity to, to give back to the Jerwex Foundation as well as just the Naperville community. Nikki and Justin became friends through the J. Kyle Braid Foundation. Once Justin was diagnosed with cancer in 2016, Lopez jumped at the chance to help out his friend and fellow Red Hawk. During his time with the Kansas City Royals, he started Nikki's number ones which helped connect with kids in need in the Kansas City area. He also continued to stay connected to his roots in Naperville. He frequently provided signed memorabilia to be optioned off for local charities and even returned for an autograph signing at Dean's Dugout to support the J. Wegg Strong Foundation. So Nicky's actually been in touch with the J. Wegg Strong since day one. Um, he's been one of those guys that's, that's always been generous to our foundation. So. Uh, always looking to help, and, and when he got to the Sox, this was an opportunity to, to do a, an event that's just beautiful. With the great turnout helping such worthy local causes, Lopez is hopeful to bring the charity game back in the future. Me and my wife have, have thought about wanting to do this every single year, whether you know whether it's here, whether it's in Naperville, um, just you know keep it going. I, I started Nikki's Number Ones to to reach out and to, to give back to the community and, and this kind of falls under that umbrella and so every single year whether it's during the season or sometime in the in the off season I think we're we'll we'll keep it going. For Naperville Community Television, I'm Patrick Cotto.